Okay, I think the video is recording. It better be. So, we are describing graphs, and let's see if we can uh, describe them properly over here. So, first one, every day, each day, several leaves from, fall from a tree. One day, a gust of wind blows off many leaves. Eventually, there's no more leaves on the tree. Circle the graph the best. So, we start with a certain amount of leaves. This says, if you're going up, that the number of leaves increase. So, right off the bat, I'm not even going to entertain that. This one had some leaves, just keeps falling off the tree, and then the wind of gust, a gust of wind blows many. So notice that it's a little steeper, so that means that more, what do you call, more than the amount that was previously falling, what, are falling now, there's many more, and then it slows down a little bit until there's no more. That makes sense, so I'm gonna go for B for now. This one, leaves are falling, Right, you're losing leaves, the amount of leaves keeps decreasing. Then here it says that the amount of leaves stay the same for a little bit and then it decreases again. That's not what's happening, so B apparently you were correct. This one I like, it's a, it's a very nice problem. Imagine if you had these three cups, and I want you to imagine, really imagine what's how they're filling up. Now if you look at this one, the first cup here, it's the same diameter, right? The same diameter the cup fills in as you as you pour water in here. Notice that when you pull uh, pour water in here, it fills at uh, the same at the same rate all the way to the top. Now, if you look at this bowl over here, it's smaller, right? This width here is smaller. So. When water is flowing inside here, it fills the bottom fast, and then it starts slowing down because it takes longer to fill each layer as you go up. So let's look at the first one. Does anyone, any of these three graphs show something that's filling at a constant at the same rate? It definitely did beat this one, right? Now, is there one that says I feel it's filling up fast and then it slows down as time goes on? Well, here we go. It fills up fast, right? And then it slows down because it gets wider, right? This gets wider, so it takes longer as you go higher. Right, that's what he's saying. Look at height over time. As the height as the water starts filling up and you go keep going up, up, it goes slower and slower because there's more to fill. Here. It's gonna fill very fast here at the at the bottom, and then it's gonna take some time. It's gonna get slower, 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 really slow, and then it's gonna get faster, 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 faster because again, it, it, it gets smaller, right? So here, it goes fast and then slow, 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 and then fast again. So this would be C, this would be A, and this would be B. Nice little problem. So <laughs> Turn an oven. Your oven doesn't start warm, it's cold, and you gotta turn it on. It's gonna stay at a certain temperature, right? You're gonna cook whatever you're cooking for a couple hours, and then you're gonna turn it off. Let's see which one represents yours. Well, this one says the temperature is already on from the beginning, and it stays at that set temperature for however long you're cooking. Obviously not. This one says the temperature, it's not zero degrees, but it's you know, it's 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 cold. Turn it on, it warms up to your prefer preferred temperature. It stays at that temperature cooking, and then you turn it off, it goes back to wherever it was. This one, you warm it up, great, and then the temperature oscillates, it goes up and down, 350 degrees, 360 degrees, 350, it's up and down, up and down, and then you turn it off, it goes down. That makes absolutely no sense. That's the one. Or choose the graph that represents best represent each situation. Okay, all right. A tomato plant grows taller at a steady pace. No, the moment you see steady pace, there you go, steady. One inch per day or whatever, however it grows. That's number one. A tomato plant plant grows quickly at first, ooh, and then stays at a constant height during a dry spell, then grows at a steady pace. All right, there we go. Look. Grows quickly, it's steeper, right? And then stays at the same height, stays at the same height, and then it grows 
a little bit again at a steady pace. So this is definitely number two, which makes that one. Tomato plant grows at a slow pace. Well, yeah, look, it's going slowly. And then grows rapidly because somebody added some water and more sun. So that's definitely three. So that makes sense. Rebecca, oh, okay, so oh, this one's tricky. She turns the oven and sets it to 300 and she bakes a tray of cookie and then turns the oven off. Okay, something that goes up, stays at 300 and then goes down. And that, this one makes sense. Goes up, turns it on, the temperature goes up, stays at the temperature and then she shuts it off. So that one would be graph three. Leon puts ice cubes in his soup to cool down before eating it. So the, the soup was hot. He puts cubes in it, which makes um, the soup go down in temperature, right? So we add there's graph, graph two or graph four. Um, so the soup goes down in temperature. He puts ice, right? Goes down in temperature, and then it go, stays at that temperature. Does the soup go back up in temperature after the 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 the, the, the the ice melt, it doesn't. So it's definitely this one. He drops some ice, the temperature drop, and it stays at that temperature for a little bit until he finishes eating. So I'm gonna say four. Barley has a flu and her temperature rises slowly until it reaches 101. Yikes. So it doesn't say it goes down after, so here it is her temperature. It's slowly going up to 101 and then stays at 101. We don't know what happens after that, so we're talking about on a hot day, Karen walks in and out of an air-conditioned okay, building. So she's in an air-conditioned building, um, or she's outside. She goes inside the, the building, she works, and then she goes outside the building. The temperature rises. I'm going to say it's graph 2. Which better, which graph better represents a person's changing height from birth to 80? Well, I had a, somebody asked me that question in class. <clears throat> well, I think the correct answer is this one. You grow in height, right, to a certain age, you stop growing, and then you're that same height until forever and ever. So it would definitely be B, but in reality, though, I gave the example of my mom. Well, yes, she grew, right? And then, but then again here, oh, let me take this back. This says that you grow at a at a constant rate until a certain age, and then you stay the same. Um, I don't think so, because you, you don't grow at the same rate, right? Because that's what that straight line is telling me. You grow, you might grow a little bit uh, at a faster rate and then slow down faster rate but you grow and then <clears throat> yes you do maintain that height for a lot good part of your age and then you kind of shrink not because you your your length gets smaller let's say you're six feet you, you, you don't become five feet five but you just shrink I don't know how to say that get weaker or your, your shoulders you know curl a little bit you, you do get a little smaller um hmm i'm gonna let this go and see if i can find a better answer than i, I don't think i even gave you an answer but i don't think it's b i would go with a but i i would go with a Gonna have to check on that a little bit more. <clears throat> the distance Molly was from home <clears throat> through Tuesday. She spent six hours at school, went out of her friend's house, 30 minutes waiting for the bus, and she walked and rode the school, school part of the day. Which section most likely represents walking to the bus? Well, if she leaves the house, right? She's at the house. This is the session section that represents walking to the house. Walking to the bus, sorry, section one. What section most likely represents spending a time at a friend's house? You know, we know that she spent 30 minutes waiting for the bus, and if you look at it, it's this size. And at the friend's house, not much bigger, but it is a little bit bigger. So <clears throat> that tells me that this six 
is a spent is a time spent at at the, at, the, at the friend's house, and <clears throat> this represents Molly at school. Why? Because for the period of time, or in, in quite a long period of time, like I don't know what time it is, from eight to three, the distance she was away from her house remained the same. So at from eight a.m. to three p.m. That distance didn't, didn't increase, right? Which means she stayed. She was at school for that um, for that period of time. So because the distance didn't change from this time to this time, okay, and is the one that represents it's it's the greater one, the greater part of the graph. That's the one that represents the type she's been in school. Wendy's cup selection, cup selection, cups and months. Which statement correctly in, interprets the graph. Wendy's cup collection is decreasing over time. Well, definitely not. Wendy's cup is increasing over time. That looks like it. Wendy's cup's collection sometimes increases, sometimes decreases. No. Wendy's cup collection remains the same size over time. No. So obviously, B. All right. Because you can definitely see it increase. All right. Exit slip. Which situation is best represented by the graph? So what's happening? Whatever is happening is decreasing over. Decreasing. All we know is decreasing. I don't know. I'm not going to say time. But the height of a child from age 10 to 15 decreases? Absolutely not. The volume of, of a balloon as it being filled with air. The volume of the balloon should be going up. So not this one either. The amount of gas in a car tank during a five-hour trip. That makes sense, right? So if you put gas at that stop at the gas station... And as you're traveling, what happens to the gas that's going that's in your tank? It's decreasing. So this so far looks like a candidate. The volume of water in a swimming pool as it being filled. Well, if it's being filled, the volume of the water should be going up. So C is our answer of choice. <clears throat> Which of the following graphs represents a car, a person in a car driving and slowing down for traffic? Driving at a constant speed and then slowing down again to a complete stop. Okay. If it's a complete stop, it has to be either this guy or this guy. Right? This one says decreasing, right? The car is decreasing, that makes sense, and then it's staying at the same speed for <clears throat> for a little bit. This one, the speed decreases, goes to stop, increases, and then decreases. That's definitely not it. That's not it, that's not it. C. Car is driving at a speed, decreases speed, drives at the same speed, and then slows down until he gets to a spot. That makes sense. This one, you shouldn't even consider. It says the car is at zero, you turn it on, and you take off, it increases speeds, and then you're decreasing speed, and then you stay at the same speed for a while. That's definitely not it. So C is the correct choice. Hank drove his cousin, who lives 155, 150 miles away. He began driving a four. This graph shows his progress during the trip. When did he stop for dinner? So, well, let's separate. So he's driving. So this is 25. This is 75. We don't have to do this, but I will. Notice that at 5, 4 p.m. he's at home. At 5 p.m. he's 25 miles away from the house. His distance is going further away from the house, further away from the house, further away in the house. And then from this, from 7 to 8, from 7 to 8, you'll notice something. His distance doesn't change. He remains at 125 miles away from his house. So that means that in this period of time, he, didn't, he, was, he stopped driving. So from here to 7 to 8, the distance remained 125 miles away from his house for one hour, which means he either stopped, went to the gas station, took a break, or in this case, he stopped for dinner. Okay, that's it.